Hey guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modder X. One of the things that I get asked the most, one of the most asked questions after I post a root tutorial, especially if it's the first root tutorial for a specific device, is okay, now that we're rooted, how do we get free Wi Fi tether? Devices like the Verizon LG G3 have tethering blocks. So you can download FoxFi on a lot of older devices, uh, even on Verizon, and be able to use that without rooting your device. Uh, however, on the LG G3, FoxFi does not work, and none of the non root uh, applications for Wi-Fi tethering do work, but there is a hack. So today I'm going to show you guys real quickly. Uh, it is a simple, easy hack, but basically with the simple changing of an application, you're able to get free Wi-Fi tether on your Verizon LG G3. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is uh, you will have to be rooted. You'll need the root browser. So just go to the Play Store. It is a free download from JRummy, and you will download the root browser. Once you've done that, head to the link in the description. It'll bring you to this page. And there you're going to want to grab this Hotspot APK. So don't do the Android 4.2 original. You want to make sure that you do grab where it says Hotspot APK. Just click there to download. Once that's been downloaded, you'll go ahead and launch your root browser. And you go to System, App, and then go down to the H's. Okay, and you'll want to change the name on these two applications. Hotspot Provision APK, just add a dot back to the end of that. That way you can save that in case you ever need to take an over-the-air update. You'll go in here and you will just erase the dot back. So you'll press and hold, and you'll rename, and you'll just add the dot back. Once you've done that, you'll select OK. Okay, and you'll do the same thing with the Hotspot Provision dot ODEX. You'll add the dot BAK. Okay, and then you will move the hotspot provision 24A mod APK from your download folder into this folder. So you would go to your SD card and download. Then you would hold that, you would copy it, and then you would go back to your system, app, and paste. Okay, so from there, You'll click and hold the hotspot provision 24. You go to permissions and you'll check the boxes the way that I have them checked here. So this is not how they'll be checked when you first do this. So you'll have to change it. So on owner, click read and write. On group, click read and on others, click read. Okay, and then hit okay. Okay, from there, you're gonna reboot your phone. So the only caveat to this hotspot modification is that every time you enable the hotspot, you will have to go into the settings and change the password. Otherwise, it will not function properly. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. Okay, so in order to use your hotspot, you'll need to turn off the Wi-Fi. And then you should be able to scroll over to the hotspot. Click and hold it. Turn it on. Okay, once you've turned it on, you'll go to Setup, and you'll change your password. Okay, so once you've saved that, you'll see that it has enabled the hotspot, and we can go to our computer. Okay, so we'll go up here and connect to our new Wi-Fi. You'll see it there. It's the Verizon VS9854G, and we'll enter in our password that we made, and then we should be able to join the network. Okay, so you'll see that we are connected. We do have internet access. We should be able to open up the browser and open up a page. Okay, so now you're surfing from the free 4G hotspot from your Verizon LG G3. Pretty simple, pretty easy. If you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button, subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.